Okay, so let me tell you about this one guy named Chad. Hey guys, my name is Chad, and I've got to tell you all about the best girl in the school. Her name is Stacy. He's dumb, he's boring, and a total nerd. She's smart, athletic, and super, super cute. Everyone knows him as a total dork and a klutz. She loves everyone, and everyone loves her. I literally hate everybody. She's like the best girl in school, and one day as I was picking up my books from my locker before the last class, she comes up to me and asks me if I want to check out this one dumpling stand in town, and I was just like, oh my god, she is so cool. So my boyfriend Rick bails on me for our date, and essentially he says that he got his foot caught in a blender. I mean, who gets their foot caught in a blender? Are you for real? Ugh, so either he's an idiot, no surprise there, um, or he is lying to me and he's hanging out with Mona again. Well, yeah, everybody got this weird text message today, sorry, random, um, from like second period today, and it was saying that, um, Rick had actually gotten his foot caught in a blender and he wouldn't be coming to school for a while. So then I turned my friend Josh over here and I asked him, yo, dude, what's, what's that all about? And he says that, I guess Rick was cheating on Stacy with Monica from 3B. I'm like, Stacy must have been devastated. I didn't know what to say when I, when she asked me out. Well, anyway, I didn't have any money for food, so I just kind of um, asked Chad to take me out because I know that he likes me, and he starts babbling like crazy. I just didn't know what to say to her. I mean, it was just one of those things where uh, she's so cool, and she was probably devastated, and she asked me out, and I froze up. I mean, I literally froze up. Okay, so um, she puts a finger on my lips and says, shh, nod your head if you wanted to say yes or something, and I'm like, yeah, I had to shut him up somehow. So after nodding like a total dork, he starts walking super awkwardly down the hallway to get to his next class, you know? And I just cannot stop laughing. She was laughing with me, like totally. Everybody else in the hallway was laughing at me too, I think. Nobody was laughing with you. They were laughing at you. Totally. Huh? But then Jess comes up to me after lunch and she's like, are you really going out with that guy? And I'm like... I'm instantly starting to regret this. Huh. Oh my god. Look at the time. Oh my god, it's almost time for our date. I wonder if I can get my foot stuck in a blender. Huh. <laughs> What's up everybody, my name is Danger Doug, and thank you so much for watching this video. Today what we're going to be doing is taking a look at FaceRig over here, and this is one of those software programs from Holotech Studios that made its debut in July 2015, but one thing I want to say is this one is for all the people out there who want to get more involved in VTubers, this actually affords a um, pretty good solution for everybody who wanted to kind of get into it if you were kind of on a budget for the most part. So the base program is actually available on Steam for about $15, now you get a couple of different add-ons here and there as well if you wanted to get a couple more characters and avatars and actually the ones that we're going to be using today are mostly from the Live 2D plugin, which is about $4 extra. So if you guys really wanted to get involved with this one, I mean, spending 20 bucks, it's really not too bad here and there to start with the base program. One thing I also wanted to point out here and there as well is that you can also customize a lot of your avatars here and there yourself, or you can actually have somebody, like an artist from like DeviantArt or something, send you guys a custom avatar yourselves, and you can load it into the program yourselves too. Now for the download for the Steam page and also a lot of the different plugins that we're going to be using, I'm going to include the links down in the description below so that you guys can get started for these ones and check them out. One thing I want to point out before we get started guys is that Holotech Studios actually around the beginning of this month, September, and again, as this video is like being recorded in like mid-September and whatnot, things may change over the next couple of months or something. But what they did say is that they're going to be debuting a new software program and face tracker called Animes. And Animes is promising to be like the step up. So if anything, it's it's taking what they learned from FaceRig and kind of creating another step up thing. Now again, since we are going over FaceRig today, I just wanted to point out that at some point, maybe in the next couple of months, that this program may be coming out. But we'll see. It might be this this year or it might be like next year but we'll have to wait and see however however this program is still really really good especially if you want to get started with vtubing and for twenty dollars that's a deal that you can't beat and now let's get started with checking out a little bit of face rig okay so first thing that happens as soon as you open up face rig is it's going to start to track your face so if anything um it's got trackers on your eyes your lips your nose your 
eyebrows and everything else too. But again, a, fee a thing that I would recommend that you guys do is to make sure that you, um, if you got bangs like in front of your hair or something, that you pull it back with like a hat or a hairband or something like that, um, just so that you can see everything that's going on, and um, or where, rather your camera can see everything that's going on. Um, but with this one, yeah, you can um, open up the avatar gallery and pick different ones over here. Um, and some of the ones have a couple of customizations as well so that you can mix and match a lot of the different uh, features that a lot of the different animals might have or a lot of the different characters might have. But yeah, it's ultimately going to read your uh, facial expressions as much as um, exaggerated as they are and all of the good stuff too. So. Next thing I would also um, take a look at is also the backgrounds. And I do have this other background gallery in their environments to where you can change it to having the avatar being in forest of some kind or uh, give them a green screen background for the most part. But um, in keeping in mind with this one, I would also keep out two um, uh, box lamps here and there um, triangulated on your face in order for your tracker to read it. But yeah, if you wanted to do that, you just come up to that second icon, you switch out your backgrounds and um, for the purposes of putting into OBS for any sort of Twitch streams or YouTube streams or anything, you probably would want to have it um, with that kind of background too. When you toggle over to this third icon, it kind of gives you a read as to the um, whole thing that's going on with your face so you can see exactly what the face tracker is tracking as far as the different points on your uh, nose, your eyebrows, um, how uh, big your eyes are getting and everything. So if you want to really exaggerate your expressions, you can give it a, um, a look over here at this one. You can tilt your head with it and um, raise your eyebrows, give it a sly smile or something. Um, and you can just toggle it back to wherever you were um, along with your uh, camera in place. Next, you can go up to this auto calibrate tracking. When you have this one up here, essentially what this is gonna do is you wanna maintain a neutral expression and look directly at your camera, and then it's gonna kind of reset your avatar if you need to. So if you need to go back into this thing and actually try to reset it to almost like a normal state, you can do that with this auto calibration, and essentially we will be back to normal. And I find that if you're trying to uh, reset an avatar that's just kind of like bouncing all over the place and whatnot. Um, that that's probably a good like practice to do like first thing as soon as you open it up before you go live. Now let's go over to the 2D um, live 2D avatars and um, for all of you anime fans out there and whatnot, they got plenty of ones to choose from and they um, have added a couple over the years here and there to um, uh, just kind of give a little bit of a picture as to what we can use for these ones. Now again, you can um, commission a lot of these ones and customize them as you see fit and whatnot, um, but for the most part, a lot of these ones are pretty good. Um, a lot of the um, different facial expressions are pretty good as well. Um, the hair movement here and there as well is, is pretty good, but one limitation I will say that I did discover with this one was that um, the avatar, again, does not um, allow for uh, hand or arm tracking or anything. So you can tilt your head, you can give facial expressions. Um, that's one limitation with face rig here and there. You also have screenshots and you can also record your performances in face rig if you want to. Um, again, this makes for pretty good options here and there if you just want to have like a video here and there for maybe like a couple of skits in YouTube or something like that. Um, you can also overlay text here and there as well. Um, I personally don't do this too much, but I can see like if you guys were going to um, maybe take a picture for like Instagram or something or possibly like, I don't know, put out something like maybe a profile picture or something like that. You can also throw in a couple of bits of text in there like cute or something. So um, with that in mind, if you want to save those layouts, um, you can. Um, you have those down there or you can clear all of them. It doesn't really matter. Um, and if you had to reset everything to its default connection, you can just hit this um, uh, arrow key over here. Now going to the advanced UI, you have a lot of your other options over here too, like your avatars, your environments, and um, karaoke panel. <laughs> I guess uh, with this one, you can also load in songs and stuff and kind of have your avatar sing along to a lot of those ones. Um, just little things that you can also just kind of go over here. Now over here with this one, in terms of the settings, what you can also do is hide your logo and you can also do auto save. And if you want to hide the tips that kind of pop up over there randomly every once in a while, you can select hide tips over there. And if you want to change um, some of your features over here for where you save a lot of these screenshots and also your videos, you can change it over here. Um, devices, you can go over here for audio recording devices and whatnot if you want to change those. Uh, graphics usually just leave these ones alone only because they're pretty optimized from the very beginning. Um, sounds don't use too many of those ones, but this performance tab is pretty important. So if you're running OBS and you run your streams here and there at 30 frames per second instead of 60, 
um, type in 30 over here just to make sure your avatar is in sync with um, your audio and also the stuff that's going on with your game and whatnot. So you also have um, other different preferences down over here including parental controls and um, also the key bindings there over here as well. So if you want to um, have your avatar um, do a couple of different expressions here and there like tongue out, tongue up, down, or any sort of other little triggers here and there too, or if you wanted to program a couple of your own in here, you can as long as you have a good artist with those ones. Um, another thing over here as well is um, different facial expressions and triggers here and there too, like special poses or something if you wanted to actually do those ones. Um, language, I use English, but you can change those ones over here. They have a couple different languages loaded up into this one. But yeah, I'm kind of making my avatar blush with a few of those key bindings and oh yeah, uh, scared face and all of the good stuff. But yeah, you got a couple of different options at your disposal for these ones. Okay, now let's see what we can do about getting our avatar into OBS. And that you get face rig open and again, open face rig before you open OBS just so your camera starts tracking with your avatar first. But essentially put, when you got your scene over here, um, you hit this little plus icon in your sources and you want to go to video capture device, not window capture device. So change this, let um, me create a new one. Um, I'll just call it face rig just to keep things simple. Um, and then just hit okay. And then you wanna change your device away from your webcam to um, the face rig virtual camera capture. So essentially that's gonna put this right into OBS and I'm, I'm currently recording this with OBS right now. So if anything, um, that's why she's over there. But yeah, you can take this over here and um, uh, now she's essentially in your OBS instance. So essentially put with this one, um, what we're gonna do is uh, flip her horizontally. And for our intents and purposes, what you wanna do for this is um, right click on the source and then go over to filters um, for face rig. And you want to um, add in a chroma key. So just a basic chroma key will do. Um, if you wanted to get to that one, it's not really too bad. You just need to click on your face cam source and then just um, uh, go into this one, hit chroma key for filters. You can slide this one across and see exactly what you can do for your avatar with this one. Reposition her and uh, resize her as you see fit. Oh, wow. Look at that. So for everybody who wants to get started as a VTuber, this is a great program to get into. Again, it's only $20 for the most part. And again, the base program, it's only 15 bucks, so you can't even beat that. But yes, for those days where I'm just kind of like not feeling all that well, or maybe I'm having a bad hair day, or maybe I'm getting like acne or something, or I just don't, I just flat out don't want to be in front of a camera. This type of thing is absolutely perfect for that sort of thing. However, if you're one of those people out there who actually builds like a whole lot of confidence or you're trying to build like a character for your specific channel and get creative with it, this is probably one of the best ways to actually get started with it too. Now I will acknowledge that there's a whole lot of other programs out there and especially so with Rockaroo, which was another one of the free programs that I was used. Um, which also included a hand tracker. That one's pretty good too. There's also a couple of other different programs out there that you could use here and there too. Um, one is called 3Teen, another one's Luppet, and um, there's a couple other ones out there as well. So definitely be sure to check them all out. But for this one, this one's not too bad for the price range. I know that Wakaru and 3Teen for the most part are essentially free, and I know that Luppet is basically like 50 or 60 bucks depending on where you live for the most part. But this program is actually pretty good for what you get in the face tracker, I want to say, is part of a pros and cons type of deal, even though you're not able to use like a hand tracker with this program. I would say that with face rig, the face tracker is actually probably one of the best ones I've seen out of all of them. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Again, I truly appreciate all of your time. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for more of these videos. I will say here and there too, if we didn't answer all of your questions during this video, if you did end up any of the questions, be sure to leave me a comment down in the comment section below, and I'll be sure to get, get back to you again with the appropriate answers to the best of my ability. Also be sure to check out some of our other videos over here, and specifically this one and whatnot. This one some um, the video for Wakaru that I put together and that program is entirely free so if you ever wanted to check it out you're more than welcome to and with that I will see you soon in the next video bye guys